distinguished delegates, uh, dear participants of the first follow-up uh, meeting of Action Team 6 um, um, uh, held at the UN campus in Bonn. This is a small example of, of augmented reality. For those who don't know me, I don't have these birds flying on my head as usual. Um, but uh, you will see how these augmented parts are inserted in a real video. Um, there's a kind of pattern recognition for my face and if I move my face the augmented parts will move according to the face recognition. If I cover my eyes then you will see the augmented parts will vanish from the screen. So that's it. So how can we use augmented reality um, for this uh, for the perception of risk is by using the smartphone technology. The smartphone technology has the camera and the camera um, uh, needs uh, sensor sensor access to the GPS so you know where you are with it with its smartphone. The GPS location of the smartphone is used to evaluate a risk layer and the risk at the geographical location is returned to the smartphone and by this uh, procedure of evaluating a risk layer the individual information can be provided to the uh, user how he is exposed to risk at this geolocation. The easiest example to explain how risk mapping could work for a uh, smartphone is that um, the smartphone provides the GPS location to a risk GIS risk mapping server and it returns the uh, the radiation as a public health risk uh, to the smartphone um, so by this mean the smartphone has a kind of GPS pseudo measurement which is defined as an indirect provision of sensor data uh, without the physical sensor by using the GPS location on the mobile device so here you can easily identify uh, the benefit of a smartphone as a multi-sensoric uh, a device which doesn't have too much uh, sensors um, on the device but by uh, accessing risk maps for the GPS location it can be easily uh, turned into a device that can provide um, public health risk data and in turn create public awareness of invisible risks. Looking on application of space technology and the application of smartphones, uh, the mobile devices are used as a decision support client for spatial application of agrochemicals. The satellite technology via normalized difference vegetation index and enhanced vegetation index we can detect crop health. The crop health is represented in a, in a crop health map in a geographical information system and this crop health map can be used to um, identify the application of certain agrochemicals at a certain rate in an area by using the uh, GPS sensors in a smartphone and this is an application of low-tech precision farming uh, just with having a smartphone available. This is just a small example to get a, a brief idea how this could work. So that's it. Um, hope to see you soon on the conference and all the best. Bye.